Hey there guys and guyesses, welcome back to my channel The Tarot and thank you for stopping by. So I'm really really excited to be sitting down and attempting to do this stretching video. It's been about two and a half years since I've last stretched any piercing and I believe that was actually my tongue piercing. I'm hoping because it has been such a long time since I've last stretched my tongue piercing that this stretch will be nice and easy. Fingers crossed, I'm not counting on it but hopefully it will be relatively smooth and simple. We'll just have to wait and see. So currently my tongue piercing is nine millimeters in thickness and I intend to go to 10 millimeters, which is the equivalent to double zero gauge today. And that is actually, in fact, my goal size. So I'm really, really excited. So I'm pretty much all ready to get started. In front of me, I have my concave taper. I then also have the jewelry, which I intend to put in. So this jewelry is actually pretty much very similar to the jewelry that I'm wearing in my tongue piercing currently. It is a Delrin internally threaded barbell. It's a tongue barbell, but what I did was I specifically asked for it to have a flat bottom and more of a rugby ball shaped top. So really it's more like a labrette. I like wearing a flat bit on the bottom because then it doesn't irritate the underneath of my mouth, underneath my tongue. And I like the more rounded top as well because then it doesn't dig into my tongue. So that's what I've got. This is 10 millimeter in thickness, as I said, equivalent to double zero gauge and I believe I ordered a 16 millimeter length barbell now my tongue piercing doesn't need a 16 millimeter length barbell but I do find after a fresh stretch it does tend to swell somewhat nowhere near as much as it usually swells when you freshly have a tongue piercing but definitely swells a little so I order a slightly longer barbell than I need to compensate for that swelling and then once it's all healed and settled from from the stretch months down the line I'll most likely order another piece of jewelry which is a little bit shorter and will fit just basically a little bit better so that's what I've got I do also have some lubrication which is a water soluble lubrication effectively it's the same as a KY jelly and I'll be using that to help hopefully glide the taper through a little bit more easily and smoothly so without further ado let's actually get started I'm just going to take out the jewelry that I'm wearing it currently So as you can see, this is a little bit dull now from being in my tongue piercing. I've been wearing it, as I said, for about two and a half years. So that's the rugby ball end. And then this is the flat bottom. So I'll put that down there. So I'm going to actually just undo the jewelry really quickly. Okay. So that is the top. It's got a very long screw bit that screws into this part here. I might be talking a little bit weirdly because when I'm not wearing the jewellery in my tongue piercing it feels a bit strange as I am actually used to having the slightly larger jewellery in there and so feeling my tongue actually touch like the roof of my mouth is a bit strange. I find that I might sound a little bit lispy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply quite a generous amount of lubrication. Okay, we'll just get it all around. I'm going to leave the top bit for now so I have something to hold on to and I'm just going to put the rest around my tongue. If you've watched previous videos, you'll probably realise that I prefer stretching from the bottom to the top. Personally, I just find it a little bit more easy than doing top to bottom. So I'm just going to put this excess lubrication on my tongue piercing. Fingers crossed this goes smoothly. It might take a while, so if I do do this over many, many, many minutes, I might have to fast forward this bit.
there we go that's so much better <laughs> okay finally i got there my tongue doesn't feel sensitive at all normally after a stretch it does feel a little bit a little bit uncomfortable and i usually find that it can be a little bit uncomfortable as well for a couple of days afterwards but now it just feels absolutely fine really as i said i didn't feel didn't feel any stretching sensation as i was actually using the taper going through my tongue piercing so i think really that two and a half years it probably just stretched itself which is why i've said in other videos that it's really really worth waiting at least a few months in between stretches obviously the longer you leave it the more likely it is that you'll have an easy stretch the next time just because the skin naturally loosens around the jewelry you're wearing and so it actually naturally stretches itself somewhat obviously waiting the two and a half years it seems to have stretched pretty much completely itself which is absolutely fantastic so yes i'm at 10 millimeters which is my goal size i'm really really pleased let me know if you have started stretching your tongue what size are your tongue piercings at currently and what is your goal size i'd be really really interested to hear so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video then please remember to leave it a thumbs up and hopefully i shall see you very very soon bye for now